Hey guys, what's up? Isaiah Huffnance here from Man Down Photography and I just received my brand new Pelican case in the mail. This is the 1510. I ordered about a week back when Amazon had a sale on it. So this is one that often gets used by photographers. It's not um, a useful case for many other situations. This one's really specifically designed for photographers and people carrying camera gear. This is going to be an unboxing and not a review. So if you're looking for a review, subscribe to the channel and I might have one out in a few weeks. Um, I like to spend a bit of time with products before I give a detailed review on them because obviously stress testing them and using them out in the field is much more valuable than a first opinion. So let's get into it. Alright, so there we have it. So the reason I ordered this is because I'm planning on doing more serious landscape photography in the future where I'm travelling to locations that a normal backpack just wouldn't do it. Um, chucking these in the back of four wheel drives and going up dirt tracks and the camera gear getting bumped around. I know that if I put a standard backpack in I'm going to end up with issues. So I've decided to order a Pelican case. I've actually got um, knockoff Pelican cases that I've been keeping my gear in up until now but I wanted something that was a lot more genuine. I wouldn't trust one of my knockoff ones in water and things like that. So they were just for keeping the gear at home, but when I'm actually going out in the field, I want a genuine Pelican case. I have owned genuine Pelican cases before for other equipment, and I can't recommend them enough. They've been solid, they've, they're virtually impossible to break. Um, Pelican claims that this particular case is unbreakable, watertight, airtight, dustproof and chemical resistant. Um, I would totally agree with that. Obviously I haven't used it yet, but with my past experience with Pelican, I know that this is going to be a very solid case. So I'm going to get into opening it up now. Now it has a two stage release. Alright, so one thing that I didn't know about is when you open it, it's sort of sprung that's pretty cool so it pops up for you once you get past that point um, so I've ordered the one that has the sort of removable padding stuff you can get one with just foam but I'm not really into the puck and pick foam stuff it's never really worked for me it is a much um, better system it will keep your gear safer but I'm quite happy to go with the removable inside padding. So it comes with some instructions on how to do the padding. It also comes with care instructions. It's got a nameplate service. You can actually get your name put on the front, I believe here. I won't be worrying about that. If anything, I'll actually spray paint my name on it. And this is just a pamphlet advertising other cases that they have. So the inside isn't huge. It will fit my main kit, not my lighting kit, but it will fit um, two Pro DSLRs and a couple of lenses and maybe some speed lights. So that's all I really need when I'm going out to do landscapes and things like that. Um, carry my tripod separately. I'm not going to bother putting that in here, but I have heard of some people who have tripods such as the three-legged thing or the Gitso Travelers, and they fit their tripod in here along with their camera gear. Um, especially if you've got a Sony kit, you'll fit your Sony in there and you'll have ample room, but with the SLRs, probably not enough room to fit a tripod in there, and your tripod's going to have to be pretty small to fit in. So this top section in here is actually removable and you can buy lid organizers. There's two types of lid organizers that I'm aware of. One just has a heap of pockets and you can fit film and SD cards and spare batteries and audio equipment in there. And the other one is a laptop lid organizer which will fit a laptop about here and I believe there's another pocket there probably for charging cables and things like that. Um, I'll probably consider getting the laptop one in the future. At the moment I'm working from desktop, but when I start working um, wholly and solely from laptop, I'll probably buy that lid organizer. That's about $50, I believe. Um, so definitely a worthwhile investment if you want to chuck your laptop in the top. 
So some of the other people I've seen get this case online have bought the same configuration as me, but they've actually received um, non-Velcro ones, so it actually attaches with a pin or something like that. I've actually received Velcro ones, so I didn't even know they did that. Doesn't really worry me, but a good thing to keep in mind when you're ordering off someone, if you want a particular style of padding, um, make sure that you're getting the right padding. So another key feature of this case is the retractable handle. So it's good for cruising around the city with or anything like that. Not that you would really need a case like this in the city. But if you've got a nice solid flat ground, you can use your handle. And it's got wheels on the bottom so that you can cart it around like a suitcase. Good for airports as well. So this case is the maximum FAA airport carry-on size. So you'll be able to use this case as carry-on. So you can put all your camera gear on this get on a flight, put it in the overhead luggage, and you're not gonna have any issues. So that's definitely a bonus because I don't like checking any camera gear under the plane that I can't live without. Another thing I like is that there's metal where the locks go, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to break off or someone to basically break a lock on one of these. Make sure that if you are flying with it that you use the proper locks. So it's got a pressure release here, so if there's too much pressure built up in the case, it will release it out of here. From what I'm told, this will not let water in. So that's my unboxing and first impressions of the 1510. If you want to see a review, make sure you subscribe, like and comment, and I'll have a review coming in the future. As always, you can find me on my social links over here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.